like to make any comments about item one? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Lisa Marie Conflict. I'm a resident here in San Marcos. I live at 516 Harvey. Now, I'm really not quite sure of the purpose of this public hearing. Um, generally, public hearings are um, called to ask for people's opinion, uh, persistent input. And I believe back in March, uh, our community and residents of Central Texas resoundingly told um, our city council members that we were all opposed to mandatory microchip in our pets. Um, additionally, I think the over 300 people who stood vigil for over five hours uh, resoundingly uh, in our city council to okay. vote and voted uh, as a result that they did not want mandatory microchipping. Now, I'm perplexed because agenda item under Notion 5 is number two, to receive comments for or against mandatory microchipping upon second impound. When the actual directive from the city council on March 13th stated in your minutes, uh, which were actually quite laborious to procure, we had to go through Freedom of Information Act requests, that data and documentation was not available online, and it was quite difficult, and I would think if you're holding a public hearing that this information would be readily available to the public, and people would not have to spend some four hours to procure the information. Um, the quotation here in the documentation from the Animal Advisory Committee from March 13th states, quote, the City Council requested the AS Advisory Board to review microchipping and make it considering a voluntary instead of mandatory. And I see a very distinct delineation between what the City Council directed y'all as the board to do, which are the representatives of our community, and what you actually have in item two here on the agenda. The City Council has clearly asked you to discuss a situation in which microchipping is not mandatory, but rather is voluntary. And this board, very specifically, if the citizens go online and read um, your advocacy, can see that y'all are very strongly pushing through um, mandatory microchipping of pets. We received worldwide coverage, and in fact, I was on another worldwide news radio yesterday discussing this specifically with not only residents in Texas, but those who live throughout the United States. And I want to thank our city council for listening to the voices of our population, listening to the voices of the public, because they realize that we as a community realize that there are cancer implications as well as short-term implications of dogs dying in the arms of their owners bleeding to death as a result of mandatory microchipping. Additionally, I think this board has adopted a paternalistic mindset of what is good for our community rather than what the will of the people is. We are very responsible pet owners in this community. We love our pets. And I think that you have fallen on broken promises when it comes to educating the population. I remember back in February when we had a, another board meeting where we asked the public to come, and some 30 to 20, 30, I'd say 25 to 30 to 50, as the meeting continued to proceed, we all raised our voices in opposition. And you advocated very strongly that you would educate the population. We would have this whole push where us in San Marcos as residents would know how to find our pets or there would be new resources. I haven't seen any of that. In fact, I as a filmmaker have offered my services free of charge, equipment, time editing, as well as airing that online at Time Warner, as well as online at news streams, and you haven't taken us up on this offer. So therefore, I feel that your argument that will decrease euthanasia or make sure that dogs find their way home with their pets is not very persuasive. I also think that you're ignoring, um, in addition to your broken promises of increasing education in our community, I think you're ignoring the will of our community. I'm perplexed why you've asked for a public hearing when we've already told you our opinion. The largest protest, as Mr. Spell indicates, in the history of San Marcos occurred in March. San Marcos, a community that I love and that I've lived in for some 20 years, received national worldwide attention as a result of you not listening to our citizens. And now here we are again today in July, and you're asking for our opinion. You give us no time, in fact, to prepare. It's been less than a week since the public has been advised of this. I myself, obviously, I'm very passionate about this issue. I've spent countless hours talking to my neighbors about this issue. And I'm perplexed why we're not even given more than a week's notice. 
to let our community know. Additionally, I'm also very perplexed of why your documentation is not available online. Why it was so difficult to us to, for us to find this information. And believe me, board, we will now ensue in a very, um, I would say, comprehensive research through a series of Freedom of Information Act requests to find out exactly what the bottom of this is. I'd also like to read a couple more pieces of, of quotations from your advocacy, um, specifically from the March 13th meeting. Quote, Mark briefly stated that the public was concerned since they are responsible pet owners, don't penalize us by making it mandatory. When an animal becomes a responsibility, it's found at large, our suggestion is to require chipping before the animal be returned to owner and companion. End quote. So if I were to understand by your advocacy, Mr. Brinkley, that you would like to require mandatory microchipping before an animal is returned to its owner, the personal property of an owner. Now, I asked back in March, and as well as February, for legal to give me an opinion. What if I, based upon religious reasons, have a strong objection to you implanting a carcinogenic piece of metal, piece of glass rather, into my critter. And I never did receive any sort of um, uh, specific answer. I kept, they kept being told that legal was working on it. I'm wondering if today legal actually has any sort of answer on that, sir. I guess, I don't know if you can answer during a public hearing, probably not, and I completely respect that. However, I would say that we as residents in our community not only have very strong objections based upon the research of cancer, which debunks the Google research that y'all quote, but also we have religious concerns. And we believe that we as a community here in St. Marcus has spoken. We have told you how we feel about this issue, and yet you take it upon yourselves to tell us in a paternalistic way what is good for us. I appreciate your opportunity, and you can count as a promise if you decide that you would like to bring this forth, we will have twice as many people at the next city council meeting. Thank you for your comments. Is, is there anybody else in the audience that would like to make public comment on this item? Hearing none, I'd like to close the public hearing.